we took a quiz this morning uh, that we saw in the paper. It's all about your sex drive. And it rates you between being either stalled or being in overdrive. Um, so we did it and we did it anonymously and we, we handed it in, but I've actually got everyone's results here. Oh, so oh, anonymous that sugar. was, eh? <laughs> You said mostly A's, B's, or C's. Yeah, or I think D's. that's the point we follow for our seats, Stacey. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, Linda's, you apparently, Linda, where it says that you're low on gas and you've almost stalled. Oh, um, oh you... I've more than stalled, lad. <laughs> um, <You've> seized up. <laughs> <laughs> um, we were the same, Kay, and you and I. Um, we're stuck in neutral. Um, means that you enjoy regular sex, but it's just that. It's it's regular. You might need to crank the gears up a little bit. Oh, there we are. Ooh. And Stacey, you? Stacey, <laughs> Stacey. <laughs> um, you are a mixed bag, uh, yeah. which means at times your sex life stalls, but on the whole, you're sticking to the regular speed limit. Oh. Yeah, I'm a safe driver. <laughs> Physical intimacy is in a relationship. How important is it? Oh, I think it's really important because mm -hmm. if that's if you're in a committed relationship, that's the only thing that you do with with that person, you know. So Harry, surely Box you would set. want to. <laughs> <laughs> well, apart from all that stuff, <laughs> you know, if if that is the only person that's touching you, wouldn't you want to do that like a lot? So how, right, how many times are you physically intimate with your partner? <laughs> how much activity in the bedroom are there? Well, not much recently, but if I had that person, a lot, like two, a lot, two, three how times many? a day, like a, a day. day. Yeah. 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 Uh, well, I'm not working. Well, well, I'm not working. Do you not think that's? <laughs> well, it doesn't have to be all night. You can say like, yeah. You can say yeah. <laughs> In my 50s, it's definitely changed, I would say, my libido. It hasn't gone, but it's definitely changed. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't gone completely, I'm still there. I would say it's, it needs chivvying up a bit sometimes. <laughs> That's all. Um, Tell us about chivvying. Like like what happens when you have to chivvy yourself? I have to chivvy myself up. Right? Come on, Louise. <laughs> because I, I like why? it. Why? why? You got tired? You get yeah, tired. Yeah, get tired. You know, that's yeah. the thing. I've definitely noticed in my 50s, with kind of that menopausal age, that just life generally tires me. So I'm very busy. <laughs> well, uh, can I just say, Rose? Yeah. I've got spare capacity. <laughs> <laughs> Send Omen round. <laughs> We've all heard the saying, an apple a day keeps the doctor away, but what about replacing your daily apple with a daily orgasm? Woo! Ooh. That's the kind of apple I want. <laughs> Stacey wants. <laughs> well, leading sex experts say that having an orgasm every single day not only has health benefits, but could even get you promoted at work, Stacey. You'll be sitting here. <laughs> 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 I'm coming for you. <laughs> we were quite matched all the way through our relationship. Um, I've been married to him for 27 years. And then a couple of years ago, I came off of HRT and found I had no libido whatsoever. And so Mark didn't know I didn't have any libido because I... Well, you are an award-winning actor. <laughs> 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 so I was... <laughs> so I was... You used all your skills. I did, yeah. So he thought I was enjoying myself yeah. when I wasn't sometimes. Sometimes I did, but Nothing in general I didn't because I wanted him still to have a, a nice time. Um, <laughs> oh... <laughs> and then... <laughs> delicately <laughs> He's gonna kill and me. Then, <laughs> and then I went back on HRT and now I'm enjoying it. <laughs> How important is technique or good sex? Very. I don't want commitment without good sex. No. <laughs> I want commitment to good sex. <laughs> what do you want first? You'd have to um, Well, I do think. Yes, you can get to a certain age where you've got to start crossing things off the list of the perfect list of the man that you want. But I think if you haven't, if you haven't got a bit of whoops, there goes your banana, <laughs> as I <well>, then, <laughs> then <laughs> wrong choice of word. Uh, yeah, you to be a yeah if there's not a little bit of tickle in your fancy, yeah. then I think the commitment will become valueless. 
Me too. Talk about sex drive, and implicit in that is high sex drive is great, fun, yeah, you're you're having a wonderful life. Low sex drive, sorry, Linda, you know, is like kind of sad. But it all, all depends on what's going on in exactly. your life yeah. as well, doesn't exactly. it? Exactly, that's what I was going to say. It's not a constant thing. Mm. You know, I mean, you can be at stages in your life, you're on holiday, everything's going well, everyone in your family's doing okay and fine. And okay, so you've got room in your head. But yeah. if you've got other things going on in your life that a lot of people have, yeah. you know, whether it's with their kids or parents or stresses or yeah. money or whatever. Or just food. Well, maybe it's just me. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I just would rather eat more. <laughs> food! <laughs> I mean, So <laughs> some people use it as a stress buster that when they're stressed they they want to have sex. Yeah. Oh my god, imagine that. I'm so angry. <laughs> <laughs> Hi honey, I'm home in a really bad mood. Get home now. <laughs> well, I've got kids and I'm 51 and I'm a bit like you, Janet. I think about it every day. <laughs> <laughs> Should we share our own man? Should we share our own man? Yeah. Oh. You, know, like, you know, like we do different days on here. This like so I'm, this week, I'm doing Monday, Wednesday, <laughs> your Thursday, Friday, Friday, your Sunday. Yeah, yeah. days with Amy. Yes, we brilliant. Could do yeah. Yeah. Take a whole time. Yeah. Sorry, I'll just stay at home if that's all right in my own home. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but, but, on, colleagues, no, no, sorry, I'm like you. Sorry. I think actually, I think I went through a period where my libido was very um, much lower because the kids were younger, and you are by the time you get them to bed and all of that, you're absolutely shattered. But now my kids are grown up. I think, oh, where's this come from? <laughs> 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 Yeah. Having said that, I don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> Is a daily orgasm achievable? Would you want to try it? Would you like a daily orgasm? Once Linda? a month would be nice. <laughs> Someone, surely you can't do it every day. No, you can. <laughs> can you? More than once a day. Oh. Really? Oh. In the early stages, you do, don't you? Oh, a couple of times a week, that's Is enough, it? isn't it? All that messy <laughs> stuff and all that. <laughs> pushing and shoving and damp patches and. <laughs> Apparently, it means people have a spring in their step when they go to work. That's how apparently it can get you promoted. <laughs> <laughs> It's a very serious I'm sorry, thing. I'm just imagining Linda just pushing her shit. <laughs> now, I separated from my partner in March 2017, so it's been quite a while. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, I don't think I'm ready to be wooed in a complete relationship. I'm, I, I'm open to... I can't believe I'm saying this, gosh. Yeah. I'm open to the thought of somebody What is all this? You're not like a car that has to keep going through fine-tuning and MOT. Oh, and trust me, oh, yeah. Yeah. I am. And it's not just about being a car needs an MOT, it's about all the luggage in the back as exactly. well, isn't it? Yeah. Because you've got luggage of your own, you've also got baggage in the form of kids sometimes. Yeah. And you think, well, who's going to want to take me on with all of these children? Well, I just want a service every now and again. <laughs> 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 I worry about my sex drive. So what do you worry about? I worry that mine's not high enough. I'm, I'm 28, and I, I, don't get me wrong, I love it, him. But here, you love food raw. I do love food. <laughs> <laughs> It, what's the problem? The problem is, is that girls my age and all the things that you read for, for some for, for people in my I don't know stage of life is that everyone's out there doing it every day and it's all exciting and so I feel like oh gosh mine's not like I mean I would do it every day if I could. Would you? Would you? Would you? Uh, would you? Uh, would you? <laughs> <laughs> you know we'll only set you a challenge if you say oh, something. Oh no, I wouldn't. Don't, I wouldn't. Don't do that. Would you we set Linda yes, challenge? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> my mouth shut now. Yes. <laughs> Jane Fonda, on the other hand, recently, she's 80 now, would you believe? I mean, looks amazing. Um, she, in a, a recent interview about the film, which I think you've seen, haven't you? The, the film yeah. The Book Club, yeah. which is coming out. Yeah. And in an interview for that, when she was asked about her sex life, that's what they always do in interviews, she has declared herself officially off the market and she says, no, it's all closed up down there. I'm not dating anymore. I'm 80. You're not closed up. She said, I've closed down the shop. <laughs> Let me make that clear. She's closed down the shop. What does that so, mean? Well, she, I, think no she, I think she means she's well, not the in a relationship. Well, it's of me. I'm open all hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's no customers coming yet. <laughs> The till's not a ringing. No, the till's not a ringing, and I've put it all on half price. 